Hey, this is Tom at Tiny Build. I'm here with Matthias. What are we looking at? We are looking at the new level editor in Boyd. Oh, we've said that there'd be a map editor in Boyd for ages. Yeah, and uh, well, it's uh, it's live now, so y you can do this yourself. Ah, cool. So uh, we're going to be talking about uh, all the cool stuff you can do. Ooh, let's start making a map. Let's uh, let's do that. So, um, well, as you can see, uh, you have quite a few. Uh, Quite a few things you can do, and uh, we're gonna talk you through most of them. Like painting rocks. So is this just like a brush tool that you can paint rocks in? Uh, yes, this is. That's uh, exactly what it is. Okay, so good. Currently, I have my. Uh, well, I have some symmetry on, so uh, whatever I paint on one side is also appearing on the other side. Right, which is vertical which is symmetry. Yes. Whatever's on the top is on the bottom. Uh, it, it's not exactly vertical symmetry. It's uh, it basically. Uh, I, I wouldn't know how to call it actually. It's it's corners. Yeah. Whatever's in the top left is in the bottom right. Exactly. Exactly. Can you do other kinds of symmetry? Yes, we can do a horizontal symmetry if we want. Ah, uh, cool. Just clear this real fast. Just using the uh, the eraser to clear stuff up. So we have uh, no symmetry with uh, this button here. Okay, good. We have horizontal symmetry. All right. We have vertical symmetry. Whoops. Uh, let's remove this. And we have corner symmetry. All right, cool. Good for strategy games. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'd hope so. All right. So um, you can start placing bases, right? Yes. So, uh, well, I'm, uh, I've drawn some beautiful rocks. Cool. Good and now I'll, uh, I'll place some uh, a spawner base. You can just drag them in from uh, from the left here. Okay. What's this stuff? Uh, this is your uh, your standard spawner base. Right. And I have some settings, like how many units are already in there when we start. Okay. Uh, which team it belongs to. Right. And because we're using symmetry, the other base automatically becomes the, the enemies. Okay. And whether uh, one unit spawns uh, per ah, right. so much time, or whether you want it to be a bigger one that spawns two units. Right, okay. So I'll just make this my uh, my starter base with five uh, five units, which uh, I'll actually make it a small one. Oh, so that starts with five units? Yes. Right. So uh, can you make uh, like the green base be five units and the red base be like 15 units? Uh, make... Not with symmetry on. Uh, if you turn your symmetry off, you could do that. Okay, so you can make like asymmetrical maps? Yes. Sure. All right, if, cool. uh, if that's what you want. All right. So what are the bases? Can you make all the bases in the game? Yes. Uh, if you just drag in this little crap unit here, you can pick which, ah, right. whichever upgrade unit you want. Yeah, okay. Um, so uh, I, think, uh, I think every good map needs some scouts. All right, that's so, your opinion. That that is my opinion, yes. And uh, I'll just place uh, place five uh, neutral units in it. So uh, all right, you cool. can. This is a neutral base, yeah. um, and I can put as many units in there as I want, uh, from okay. zero, ranging from zero to thirty. Okay. So, is there like towers and guns and all kind of stuff yes. that you can see in the? I can uh, existing void levels. I can place uh, these towers. Right. All, all your options are basically on the left. Uh, okay. So I can set how many uh, how many units are already in okay. there, which color it is. Um, all the I bases, can... all the towers, all the powers. Exactly. All you, right. Yeah, you just have, uh, have all the options uh, that you would also find in a normal void map. Okay. Good. So this map seems like a pretty small void map compared to the maps that are all in there. I completely agree. So if you want to change your map size, you right. can do that whenever ah, by just good. clicking this. Oh, that's good. I haven't seen this. And if I uh, if you drag it up, ah, your stuff perfect. just stays you don't even have to, Yeah, you don't even have to start again. No. So even if I want to scale it down and then scale it up again, everything is still there. Oh, this is really good. I like this. So, so uh, we could place some, uh, some things there. Yeah. Scale it down again. Okay. Scale it up again. Oh, those are gone. So can we play this map and see how this looks? We can now. Uh, we can build it. Right now it's a bit big, so just scale it like this. Got some more stuff there. Beautiful. Good. And then uh, there you can pick which uh, which skin you want and build the map. Wow. So this is uh, this is the map we just made. Oh, it's all void artwork and stuff. It looks yes. like all the other void levels. Yeah, you uh, that that all gets generated automatically, which is. Uh, Cool. Very convenient, so you don't have to do everything yourself. So, can you play these maps online against other players? Yes, you, oh, just, okay. uh, you just have to publish uh, pu publish the map, and it's automatically on the Steam Workshop. Oh, is this all Steam Workshop stuff? Yes. So okay. you can. Uh, it's very easy to uh, to upload everything. All right, good. And then you can play it against uh, anyone, actually. All right, cool. So, 
if I upload this to the Steam Workshop, are these at any point going to show up like in Void? Can I open Void and then see user levels? Uh, yeah, that uh, that is the idea. The best maps will be featured in game, and uh, and you can always uh, download maps yourself if you go to the workshop. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, that is basically what uh, what the level editor is like. There's not yeah. a lot to talk about because it's all. It's all pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's like, all very this intuitive. Is, yeah, this is like one of the best level editors I've seen. This is nuts. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's all really good. So, uh, all right, cool. So, when's this void level editor gonna come out? It's uh, live right now, actually. Oh wow, cool. Okay. So you can uh, you can start making maps. Uh, well, now what are you doing watching this video? All right, good. Let's go make some void user maps.